Good evening, guys. It is March 5th, 2020. Um, sorry about the weird camera angle, guys. I'm using a weird tripod. And my phone is a little strange on the back, and so it's not fitting well. So I hope that this isn't shot. It looks like it, but I'm using the selfie camera, and then the arm of the tripod is blocking the screen. So I think you can see, so we'll see uh, once the video is done. Anyway. Today I want to show you how to hand wash dishes. Now, um, a few things that I like to do. I have a dishwasher. It works. It works fabulous. But if I only have a few dishes to do, why would I waste water just to let them sit there and fill up the dishwasher? when I can just wash them, set them aside, and just put them away right away. And also, you know, if you're just single and it's just you living by yourself, I mean, come on, how hard is it to wash dishes? That's just my opinion. Um, I don't know. It's, you can do what you want with dishes, but I just like to hand wash if I can. Um, you'll also save water and electricity and stuff like that so yeah um so anyway what you're gonna need i like to use rubber gloves now you don't have to use these um it's uh really your choice uh, to use them or not, um, so, but, um, I like to use them because my hands do get dry, and also I use hot water, and so the hot water really kind of doesn't help all that much, and it's, uh, kind of a pain, so, Anyway, I'm gonna put gloves, and these gloves last a while. Um, my last pair literally just got a hole in them. Um, and so I get quite a few uses out of them. Um, so, anyway, now that you have your gloves on if you want them, like I said, this is optional. You do not have to use gloves if you don't want to. Um, I like to get the water running really hot, which this has been for a while. I like to get it running really hot. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to show you the dish detergent I do use. I use um, Ajax. Um, liquid dish detergent. Um, you can get it in a bunch of different sizes and scents and all kinds of stuff. Um, so, the larger bottles, the lemon. Um, you also have grapefruit, which I love the smell of this. It smells good. So, I'm going to run the water so it's hot. And you're going to put your sink stopper in to fill it up. Now you're only going to fill it up to really a low amount of water. There's no reason to fill it all the way up because you're just using more water. But, you know, that's up to you. If you have a lot of dishes, um, just do what you can. Um, I usually fill it up maybe like a fourth of the way, like about yay much. So, yeah. 
팔 이렇게 Spider-Man, Pigeon, Pigeon, Steam, coming off of this, but it, it's hot. Uh, the water is hot. So, just give it some time to fill up. And we're going to add our detergent. And, really, you don't need a whole lot. I just like to do a judgment call. That's probably enough, maybe a little more. But, yeah, I'm almost out in this bottle. I need to use that. Um, the Ajax dish detergent is wonderful so far. Um, so, I like it. Um, now, the other detergents that I would recommend is um, Palm Olive. Um, they make a really good detergent. Um, Dawn is extremely good with getting rid of grease. However, I will warn you that some people have allergic reactions to Dawn. Uh, my mom is one of them. We've never really used Dawn in this house ever growing up. So, um, just make that judgment call. I'm going to just rinse this out. I just was at the end of this bottle and trying to clean it out and use it up. So, anyway, what I like to do is, for me, this is the order that I do it in. I do the silverware first and stuff like that. I set these aside. Um, because your silverware is going in your mouth, okay, if you think about it. So I want my silverware to be washed in the cleanest water. So I'm going to do my silverware first, just throw it all in there. detergent is going to kill any bacteria. If you use really hot water and good dish detergent, you'll be good. That's some people's concerns with hand washing dishes, but really they did it a long time ago before they had dishwashers. So, and people were fine. So, you know, if you do it correctly, you'll be okay. Like, if you did it in cold water and no detergent at all, then yeah, there's no way. But, you know, this is good enough. Just make sure that you scrub all the gook off. Don't forget to wash the handles, too. So. Set it aside. I have a dish mat. Um, you can get a dish rack too. I like the dish racks more, but this is just what I have. Um, so, next I like to do the glassware and the mugs. So, your coffee cups, your uh, glassware, all of that. So, and really, if they're dirty, just give them a good rinse before you put it in the dishwasher 
or the dishwater because you're gonna just make a bigger mess. So if you have like, let's say a lot of uh, barbecue sauce or grease or whatever, just try and rinse off the most you can before you put it in the dishwater. So just wash like this. Um, I also have um, a glass and this one here. Turn it off. You notice I'm not leaving the water running too. Um, I see a lot of people do that. Um, guys, that just lays water. So the only time I leave the water running is to get the water hot. Um, so because I never start with cold water. I always start with hot water. It's gonna make your job a lot easier. It's gonna be more efficient and effective. Um, so, always use the hottest water you can tolerate. Um, again, if you do ru use rubber gloves like this, you can really tolerate much higher temperatures um, with them. It's awesome. So, like I have the hottest water possible right now. So, can do that. You can also do this. Um, so yeah, your glasses and everything, your cups, all your drinkware. Next. So, just do that. And you notice how quick this is, really. I mean, you just go, 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 go. Once you get a system down, you really don't have a lot you have to feel like. Just clean that up a little more. So, so. Okay. So, I put that there. Now, next is your plates and bowls and all that. So, and just put your plates in there. And the bowls, just rinse. And I also have a scrub brush that I can use if I got really stuck on stuff. But really, this is another tip I have. Do not just set your dishes directly in the sink and not rinse them. Um, the fresher the stuff is, the easier it is to get off. If you let it sit, you're just going to scrub more and more, use more water, more detergent, and it's just going to be more frustrating. Guys, it only takes a second. Once you're done with the dish, just run water and set it in the sink, okay? That's one of my biggest pet peeves that people do. So, yeah. Now, if it's really a sticky mess, then just let it soak with hot soapy water or whatever. So, you know, just wash the back, front sides, all that. There's still stuff on there, you might need to go again. Um, another thing is, I don't have a garbage disposal, so I recommend getting a screen to stop you need debris if you don't have a garbage disposal, or if you do, but you don't have, you have a double sink and just a regular drain on the other side, that's a good idea. Um, I would really prefer to have a garbage disposer over a dishwasher, personally. Um, i found that we've had less clogs when we've had garbage disposals in the past. Um, so, that's just my preference. To be completely honest with you guys, 
Um, so, and you notice how quick this is going. Like, literally, this is not rocket science. It's not, <laughs> not anything major, really. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, how you do dishes. Now, Lastly, I do not have any dirty pans to show you or cookware, but you would do that last. And the reason why is because your pots and pans are the dirtiest with all the grease, the grime, the film, everything like that. So rinse them, rinse them, rinse them. Um, the other thing is do not dump grease down the drain, try to get as much grease as possible out and in the trash. Uh, grease will clog your drain faster than you can call a plumber. I mean, it will. So, just don't do it. Um, and any bacteria that is on your cookware and stuff, you know, you're going to wash it and stuff, and it, even if there is the tiniest bit of bacteria or germs, your cookware is going to be heated up on the stove, and that those high temperatures is going to kill anything. So that's why you cook your meat to kill any bacteria or anything. You don't eat raw meat, really. So that's just uh, some tips for you. Um, but I do recommend that you have a good scrub brush um, of some kind for pots and pans. Like if you have a stubborn area, um, do be careful with some pots and pans. Uh, certain ones have different cleaning instructions. If you have non-stick, you may want to be a little bit more gentle. Um, if you have stainless steel, um, you can pretty much go to town on that as far as I know. Um, I prefer stainless steel cookware because it's just easier just to go like full blown, pull out the big guns and just scrub. But prevention is key. Um, I understand if you get done cooking and you have hot water, or not hot water, hot pans, um, that you want to let those cool. I do not want you guys to immediately move your pans to the sink when they're hot. Do not do that. That's just an accident waiting to happen. So let your pans cool for at least 20 or 30 minutes. And then try and wash them as soon as you can. Um, you know, prevention really is key. Um, if you let it sit overnight, it's just gonna be way harder for you in the morning. And guys, really, if you keep up on the dishes, it's going to be so much easier. If you let the kitchen go and the dishes are backed up for four days, that's gonna suck. And nobody really likes that. So... Really, if you can do it every night, do it. Um, like I said, you don't have to hand wash dishes if you don't want to. I just like to do it because it's easy enough to do. And really, if you see my dish mat here, there's really only like three bowls, one plate, three mugs, and two cups and glasses. Like, really. That's nothing. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.